In this video, we're going to discuss the replacement and removal of the magnetic contactor. For doing this, you're going to want both a flat and a Phillips head screwdriver. And I would recommend a screw wedge type tool for the screws that mount the contactor itself to the mounting bracket. First thing you want to do is you want to turn the power off of the circuit breaker. Get the power off. First thing you're going to want to do is remove the control wires. These are the wires here that come from the T1000 control board. You also then have the jumper wire that goes from the contactor up to the coil. You want to do these first while the screws are still tight, they hold the tabs in place. So now get your flat head. These wires all out. Same on the bottom. You are now free to remove the mounting screws. And there you have the removal of the magnetic contactor. Mounting the new contactor inside of the booster just the opposite of what we did to remove it. Two screws up on top that mounted to the bracket and two on the bottom. All right. It is important to get all four screws nice and secure. This is after all what's holding the contactor in place on the bracket. Next, we wanna get our power wires back in under their lugs. Okay, now that we have our power wires finished, time to put the control wires on that are coming from the T1000 control board. Over here in L3 is the brown wire. It's a jumper just goes straight back to the coil tab, which is straight behind it. Also on that same tab, L3, is the white wire, which is coming from the top of J5. Over here on L1, you have the black wire, which comes from the second spot on J5. And then behind that is the other coil, which has the yellow wire, which is coming from the bottom of J5. Once you've got these uh, spade connectors slid back onto the tabs, that is it. And you can turn the power on and you are good to go. And that concludes the installation of a new magnetic contactor.